Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to recover data from a crash disk array built on Android OS. Before starting data recovery operations, let's explore what is Android OS and how it works. Android OS is an integrated operating system designed to create reliable data storage solutions. To ensure improved storage reliability, the operating system lets you combine several hard disks into a single array. However, a disk array in Android OS is different from that in a conventional RAID system. Instead of using classical methods of combining hard disks such as RAID 1, RAID 5, and so on, Android uses an idea of creating arrays without typical RAID requirements. This approach lets users combine disks of various capacity and each of them is treated as an individual one. Instead of creating a strict set of rules for data distribution, Unraid allows each disk to store its data independently. The main advantage of this approach is that even if one hard disk is out of order, only the data stored on this specific disk will be lost, but the data on other disks is just inaccessible. This means you are not going to lose all your data, as in the case with classical RAID systems. If one of the disks in an Android array is down, you can replace it with a new one and recover data with the help of integrated tools. Such approach allows for a more flexible way to manage data and ensure safety at the minimal risk of data loss. Nevertheless, such technology cannot entirely exclude chances of data loss, so in today's video, you will see how to recover files from a crashed RAID when the disk RAID cannot be accessed. For better understanding of how to build a disk array on Android OS, let's explore how to create one when you have four hard disks. For illustration, I'll show you how to create a disk array similar to RAID 5, with one hard disk reserved for parity, and a disk array similar to RAID 6 with two parity disks. Let's start by opening the Web Management panel for Android OS and then jump to the main tab. Choose disks for parity and for data storage. Choose the drives from drop-down lists. Look down to find and click the Start button to unite them into a disk array. By default, disks for storage will be formatted in XFS file system. To choose a different file system, open the disk settings and choose an item from the list. BetterFS, ZFS, or REFS. In the previous window, check the box next to the Format option. Click OK in the Disk Format Warning window. Now click Format. Wait until the parity check process is complete, as it can take some time. Now the array is ready. After that, you can add a shared folder and upload some data to your disk array. While data is written, we can see that information is written to one of the disks within the array, and when a certain level of disk space usage is achieved, information is then written to another disk. Such technology lets individual disks be independent from others. If one hard disk fails, you can replace it and, the reco and then recover a part of the lost data from the remaining disks. However, when a hard disk is down and the operating system on the boot device is damaged, a part of the data becomes inaccessible since it is located on the parity disk. In order to get all files from the disks, you will need a software tool capable of rebuilding the damaged disk array and retrieving your files. To retrieve data from Unraid OS, use Hetman RAID Recover. It supports most popular file systems and RAID levels, including the Unraid OS technology. For recovery, Take the disks out of your Unraid storage system and connect them to a Windows computer. 
The program fails to rebuild the RAID automatically and shows it as a bunch of individual drives. In my case, there are only two parity disks left, and their data cannot be retrieved without using third-party software tools, because the two disks containing data are lost. First of all, you need to build the array with the available disks. To do that, start the RAID constructor. There are several ways to build an array, including determining the configuration by manufacturer or building the array manually for advanced users. When you search configuration by manufacturer, the program will use its collection of build algorithms typical for a certain manufacturer to give you a few array configurations to choose from. All you need is to give the number of disks in your lost array, including the disks which are currently out of order. After that, the program will search for possible configurations and show you the search results. The best variants will be highlighted. Check the box next to the required configuration and click Add. After that, the hard disk will appear in the Drive Manager. The second method is meant for advanced users and lets you build precisely the configuration you need. For starters, you need to know the offset of the disk beginning. When you select a disk, you can see that its records start from sector 64. The developer says this starting point can either be sector 64 or 2048, and in this case it's 64. Now start the RAID constructor. Manual mode and add the available disks. Select the type we know is unraid and its dual parity. We also know the number of disks, so add empty drives instead of the missing ones by clicking on the plus button. Now give the offset, which we already know, sector 64. When you give these properties, you will see your array below. If the properties are correct, you can unfold the array and see folders containing your files. Click Add. After that, the hard disks will appear in the Drive Manager. Now, let's start searching for lost files. Right-click on a disk and choose Open. After that, select the scan type, Fast Scan or Full Analysis. When one disk is lost, Fast Scan is enough. If the program failed to find the necessary files, then run full analysis. To do it, return to the main menu, right-click on the disk and choose Analyze again. Then Next. Open the folder where your files were stored. Select them and click Recover. Then choose where to save them, the disk and folder, and hit Recover again. When the entire process is over, you will find the recovered files in the folder you have chosen. If your array was created with a single parity, with one parity disk, then you can only retrieve a part of your data if one of the disks is down and the bootloader is damaged and you are not using a data recovery tool. The matter is that information will be stored in its original form only on one disk. Just like in the previous case, the program can't build the array automatically, and it displays a priority disk with an unallocated area and a disk with a file system, while one disk from this array is lost. In the end, uh, you have a drive containing some data that can be retrieved easily without any special tools and a parity disk which needs recovery software for its files to be retrieved. To get the files from such disk, you need to build a disk array manually. Open the constructor just like you did it before. Choose a suitable building method by manufacturer or manually. Choose Unraid OS. Give the number of disks and you will see the configurations suggested by this tool. Add one and scan it.
Alternatively, you can choose the other method, building the array manually. Select disks, choose the type, give the same offset for sector 64, Arrange the disk order. And add them. You can see the same disks as before. Scan them and recover your files. In the end, if all you have is two disks with data, you don't have to build the RAID. Just analyze them and get your files back. If there is only one disk with data, the scan will only retrieve the files which were written to this specific disk. If you add a parity disk to your data disk and build an array, you can retrieve the remaining information which was stored on the walls disk. Now that you know how to rebuild an array and recover data from a crashed Unraid OS disk array, you can ensure the safety of your data and recover it when necessary. Follow the instructions and recommendations and you'll get your files back with ease. And that is all for now. I hope this video was useful and it helped you to recover the lost files. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave your comments under the video. Thank you for watching and good luck.